Hey guys, whoa, tree top thoughts here. <laughs> Come join me for episode three of my dating series. Do you ever get nervous around someone cute? Not quite sure how to uh, drop those hints. Maybe you're just extra awkward on dates. I've got some good news. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to flirt. Scooch on over and we'll begin. Oh my, not that close. <laughs> I can smell you through the camera. We all know the stereotypical flirting that happens in the movies and secretly. We're all hoping that's how it happens in real life. Tip one, eye contact. Eye contact is very important when you're trying to flirt with someone. First of all, it shows that you're paying attention to what they're saying. Second of all, it shows that you're being genuine and you're looking at them and giving them a form of nonverbal communication that isn't used often enough in our culture. And last, guys or girls will notice you a little bit more if you're staring into the depths of their soul. Not in a creepy way, of course. Tip two, roasting or making fun of the other person. When you're trying to flirt with somebody, first of all, you've gotta be able to take a joke. Second of all, you've gotta be able to spit out a joke. It goes along with the hard to get card where the other person knows that you're kind of stabbing them and you're waiting to be stabbed back so you guys can get in a full on sword fight. You're just waiting for a reaction when you roast somebody to kind of get their attention and get that little bit of a competition. Tip number three. <laughs> Touch. Touch is another way to flirt. Not in a weird or gross way, but a little poke or shove or accidental arm around the girl is going to be a very obvious hint that you are trying to flirt and give her the signal that you like her. Tip four, playing hard to get. You might be a little bit confused on how this is flirting. Uh, let me tell ya. By playing hard to get, you simply are hard to get. You'll give them little pieces, little bits of information, let them scratch the surface of who you are, and just take a step back. Let them ask you the questions. Let them do the accidental arm around you. Don't walk super close and try and hold their hand. That is not being hard to get. You don't want to completely cut the person off and pretend like they're not there. You just don't want to give them your whole self immediately so that you can see if they're going to be long term or if they're just trying to schmooze talk to you to get you to go to their next dance with them because you'd be the cutest in a prom dress. Let's be honest. Tip 5. Honesty. If you like someone, be completely honest. Either let them know or give them honest compliments. Or if they ask you how your day is going, don't just say, fine, good, great. Tell them how your day is going. Oh, it's going really good. I just got this interview. I finished work early and now I'm filming. Just be completely honest and in return, they'll probably be completely honest with you, which builds trust and sets a conversation up. Tip six, like I just mentioned, if someone asks you how your day is going, don't respond with a one word answer because that's going to leave the conversation at a dead end and the other person isn't going to know how to start it up or they're gonna have to be super creative and ask you a weird question to get an answer out of you. So if you respond with something more elaborate and then end in a question to keep that conversation going and to keep that flirtatiousness on. Tip seven, don't play those 
dumb texting games. Okay, obviously you don't want to be available every second of the day to respond to whoever is talking to you. Respond in your own time. If you guys are having a great conversation and you're both replying quickly, don't play so hard to get that you wait every four minutes or however long to respond. That just gets annoying and it shows that you're into playing games and that you would probably play subtle games in the relationship. Tip 8. Be okay with being awkward. If you're talking to your crush, or you're on a date, or you pass by a cute guy who got your number, you're probably going to fumble over yourself a couple times and have issues talking or looking at the person in the eyes, which you should do even though you're scared to. But don't get overly embarrassed where you have to run and hide in a car or around the side of the building or wherever you're at. Just be okay with being awkward and laugh off your awkwardness. If there's a long silent pause, break it by saying something honest and funny. I would say, this isn't awkward. I never know what to say to people that I just meet. Like, I always run out of questions so fast. See, silence breaker, honest, and can be a little bit funny for you to both nervously laugh at. Tip nine, don't pull the jealousy card. If you're trying to get a guy or a girl to notice you, by bringing along another guy or girl as your date or as your pawn to try and get them to be jealous that you're with another person. First, that goes along with playing games, which you shouldn't do because that just ends up causing a problem. Second, if you haven't done the previous steps and let the person know you like them, they might not even notice and think that you're dating somebody and end up not asking you or being repelled by your scheme that you thought would work when really it just backfired at you. Tip 10. Learn as many facts as possible about the person that you're interested in. It is always my goal to know more about the people that I'm talking to than they know about me. Um, and I think it should be the same goal vice versa so that you're both constantly trying to learn and know the most about each other possible. It's not a competition of who knows more about someone. It's just a friendly asking questions, trying to really get to know a person and see if you're potentially compatible for, well, the end result of dating is marriage. So it's just a really awesome thing when you know a lot about each other. Additional meanings that a guy or girl might have a crush on you or be flirting with you is if they continually are choosing you to be on their team or you're playing games, if they sit next to you all the time, if they text you or call you a lot, maybe buy you your favorite candy or food, or you know, your favorite soda, something like that. Special treatment is typically a sign that someone is trying to flirt with you. Just be cautious that you just be cautious and read into the situation because you don't want to mistake your best friends for flirting with you. Overall, flirting is a friendly way to interact with another person, see if you vibe on a chemistry level, if you could potentially date or be married or if you're just really good friends like soul sisters or soul brothers or is also soul mates, you know. The most important thing I would stress about flirting is to be yourself. If someone doesn't end up liking you, don't try and change and be this other personality or act like this girl that they like or this guy that they like or what have you. Just be your complete true self because then what you're presenting is going to be more attractive. It's going to be easier because you're being true to yourself and to the other person. Everyone has a different style of flirting. So if some of these tips don't necessarily line up for you, that's okay. Just be yourself, be honest, be authentic, and own your flirtations. This concludes episode 3 of my dating series. Stay 
tune in for some more tips on dating. Until next time, bye guys!